We saw a swift reaction from medical professionals after Deputy Monig showed up at that Care Now clinic in Frisco. A much different response and circumstances, in fact, from the first time Thomas Duncan walked into a hospital with Ebola symptoms. Health professionals say clearly we have entered a new phase of Ebola preparedness. Fox 4's Natalie Solis joining us in studio with what that all means. Natalie. Well, Steve, this shift in thinking and preparedness means a lot of things. And doctors say we can count on seeing more suspected Ebola cases that trigger a big response. But it is not likely the new norm. So we think about this and we remember what a deadly enemy Ebola is. Centers for Disease Control Director Tom Frieden hours after learning of the nation's first Ebola casualty. And less than two hours after that, word spreading like wildfire of Dallas County Sheriff's Deputy Sergeant Michael Monig under observation. That time, the response at a Care Now clinic in Frisco, swift. Monig's stomach issues and history of being at Duncan's apartment mean within minutes he's rushed by ambulance to Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas. His contacts at the clinic wearing protective gear, the facility scrubbed down, the ambulance taken out of rotation. Identification, diagnosis, and safe care of anyone who may have Ebola needs to be top of mind right now for health care providers throughout the country. Dr. Frieden's advice hitting home sooner than expected, and not at a major hospital, but a small neighborhood clinic a lot more accustomed to seeing cases of the common cold and flu. I don't think this is the new normal forever. I think this is going to be an appropriate response in the heat of battle. Dr. Edward Dominguez specializes in infectious disease. Images of hazmat suits and news of people in quarantine can have an effect. I worry that people will think that that has to be the response every time there's a new uh, disease that has been described. On the other hand, seeing that kind of response, uh, at least partly to me, makes me think uh, that our infrastructure and that our vigilance is, is on target. And he says with Ebola, healthcare professionals have to hit that target every single time, meaning extra vigilance from taking a patient's history to following all infection control practices to a T, especially some of the basics, like hand washing. This virus is not a forgiving virus, Natalie. So it requires adherence to these types of procedures 100% of the time. Well, Dr. Dominguez says these sorts of big responses are not durable long term, and he thinks things will likely calm down as the situation gets under control. His hope, though, is that when people do think they've been exposed, they go to a hospital as opposed to a clinic where there is trained staff and appropriate facilities that can deal with potential Ebola and not risk other exposures. Steve. Natalie Solis, thank you.